In this video lesson, I will try to explain as simple as possible what are support and resistance levels. Here on the chart, I have a gold against US dollar. Currently, I am on a daily time frame. That means that each candle that you can see here on the chart represents one day. When the day closes, this candle closes and then starts the new one when the new day starts. So if I want to change the time frame, I simply go here in this table where the quick access toolbar is and select, for example, H4, which means four hour. That means that each candle here represents four hours. So inside one day, I have six candles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six multiplied with four is 24 hours. Now on the daily time frame, I would like to show you what are the support and the resistance levels. Here on the chart, you can see the, uh, these red lines, which some of, the, uh, some of them are thicker than the others. If I go to the highest uh, time frame, which is a monthly time frame, you can see these uh, thickest red, uh, red lines, which represents support and the resistance levels. If you hear, if you check here on the chart, you can see that these lines have been set where usually the price goes, uh, comes and then reverses or bounces from that area. Now, if I go to the weekly inside this time frame, I also have a, but a smaller red lines. You can see that here, one of them. And then when I go to the daily time frame, it, I have also even uh, smallest uh, can or uh, even the uh, smallest red lines, which represents also our support and resistance levels. But these lines represent support and the resistance on the daily time frame. So we, I have the thickest are the monthly, then I have a weekly, and then I have a daily. So I have gone through all these time frames and put the horizontal uh, support and the resistance levels. So what they are, support and the resistance levels represents an area where usually the price comes and then stops or bounces from that price level or going through that level. So there are three scenarios. So let's take a look here on this area. First of all, we can see that this price level, which was 2356.22 for the price, when the price has gone from this area to the upside, we can see that here, the price stopped it right here at this price level. We can see that this candle body has closed at this price level. The week has gone up, but the price returned back down. So it, the day has closed at this price level. So we can see this was a resistance, resistance for the price. Then the price stopped for a while for the whole day where the price created this small candle which has the open and close at the same price level. There were some wicks on the upper side and on the lower side which means the price has gone up and down. Now this resistance level was a strong resistance for the price where the price could not go up. But we can see also that the price did not bounce back down which means this resistance was not uh, stronger than the uh, buying pressure that pushed the price to this price level from the bottom here. So the price stopped it for a while and then on the next day the price has found enough strength to push even more to the higher price levels and then the price reached 2390.94 which was the next resistance level. We can see that here. Also the price stopped to this day we can see the candle has closed the at the same price but with a smaller week on the upside did not go even further up and then on the next day the price bounced back down now we can see two scenarios where the price has stopped it then the price has gone through this resistance level and on the third scenario the price has reversed back down or bounced back down from this resistance level and the stop it at the next support now you can see how these price levels, which means these horizontal support or resistance levels are acting in an area where usually the price stops for a while and then moves in the opposite direction, which means the price comes here to this resistance, moves the up in the opposite direction or go through that price level eventually. So usually the price goes up or down on the resistance level. It is the same scenario here at the support level where we can see the price has gone down and then stop it for a while. Now we can need to figure out where the price will go. Will the price return back up, which means will the price will bounce or the price will go through this support level and continue to the next support level. Now the support and the resistance levels are usually the area where there is a fight between the support and the resistance level, which means between the buyers and the sellers. And this is the area where usually this happens. We can see that here. 
because the, in the past the same scenario has happened before. So whenever I put here a support and the resistance levels, these horizontal lines, I check what has happened in the past to see are these level are these levels correctly placed on the chart. If they are, we can see that in the future the price will respect this price level and something will happen. Sometimes the price will bounce like in this example here, when the price has reached this resistance, the price bounces back down. And then eventually when the price found enough strength, for example, in this case, where we can see that the price has found a resistance and eventually the price has gone through this price level and reached the higher price levels. Now, how to perfectly put them, these horizontal support and the resistance lines, it's not very easy, especially if you are a beginner. But in, but in time, if you practice enough, you will eventually find what is the best ways. Now, this video is not how to place them correctly, what to watch and you know, how to test these horizontal support and resistance levels. This video is only to, uh, is meant to explain what are they and also what they represent on the chart and also what you can expect in the future, what happens in the past on these price level. Now, let's uh, let's show you one more example. For example, this area here. This was um, this is a weekly, currently acting as a support at this price level. We can see the price has gone, then it has gone down. The price has bounced from this price level several times with these four candles, and eventually gone up. Then, when the price returned back down, we can see this area did not respect, uh, was not respected as a support very strongly, but the price managed to go down through this uh, support level. Then eventually when the price has gone down, returned back up, this area was uh, as a resistance, acting as a resistance for the price, not allowing the price from reaching higher price levels. But eventually we can see that the price managed to make a bullish breakout with the price continued to the next resistance level. Then on the next attempt we can see the price could not go down easily and then eventually the price formed this strong bearish candle going through this support level easily. Then on the next attempt, we can see that the one, two, three, four, for the four, uh, four times, for the four days, the price could not make a break to the upper side, which means the price tried to go up, to go up several times, but it could not go above this resistance level, which means this price level was acting a pretty strong. It is, was a pretty strong a supply zone, which means where are the sellers and resistance here. And eventually the price has made a breakout. After that, the price has gone, gone up, bouncing from this resistance and then returned back down to the same price level, which is now acting as a support. And we can see the price bouncing from this area, returning back up. Then on the next attempt, we can see the price uh, has reached again this support level, acting as a great support, bouncing, bouncing from this area, from this price level, gone up, then return it back down, trying to make a breakout for one, two, three, four, five. Five days the price tried to make a bearish breakout going below this support level, but this support level was pretty strong. Then the price bounced eventually up and then returned back down, going through this support level easily, which means a strong selling pressure was from this candle. Then eventually the price returned back up, tried to make a bullish breakout for the first time, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth time. So six days the price to price has tried to uh, make a bullish breakout going above this resistance level, the, but the price could not make that happen. And then eventually on the next attempt we can see the price has gone through this support level, was a, a little bit indecision around this area, continued down and then again the price has formed this strong selling pressure which means a supply zone, a resistance level for the price where the price could not go up easily for four times. This is the first second, third and fourth time and on the fifth time the price eventually made a bullish breakout. Now you can see how this price level, which I have put here on the chart, has been respected several times as strong support or resistance level. In this case we can see this was a support, this was a a resistance, this was a resistance, this was a support, this was a support, this was a support, this was a resistance, this was here uh, some kind of decision between the buyers and the sellers, this was a resistance. So I am expecting in the future when the price go below this area, which is the support level, the price will find a great support for sure, where the price will stop for a while, it will bounce back up 
from this area or it will or it will go down eventually so this is a very important support level for me where you can see that uh, if they are put correctly on the chart they are respect they are respected on this symbol so will this price level or some uh, similar uh, scenario like this be is will, will it work on other symbols for example will it work on the EURUSD usually yes especially if the price level uh, this uh, horizontal support a price level which is a very important has been placed correctly now for example in this scenario here let's zoom out a little bit just to see much more uh, to see a bigger picture for example for example this one this is a monthly this is us this is the video let's see this is yeah this is the monthly support and risk level now we can see how the price respects this one here it is a resistance here is support here it is a confluence between the support and the resistance this was here a support a smaller resistance this was support where the price has gone down i bounced from it then it was here a resistance for the price resistance resistance then here was a small resistance here was a support here was a resistance a resistance a resistance a resistance and so on and so on now you can see how the price respects this price level as a support or a resistance level so in this case where the price is currently going up i'm expecting that the price will reach this area and it will bounce back down because usually what happens when the price reaches this area we can see in the past how the price behaves when the price goes up it bounces back down for a while when it goes up it bounces back down when it goes up we can see that first bounce was, was here then if the price goes again up it bounces from this price level in this case the price did not bounce it has it has gone easily through this price level then in this case the price bounces back down now you can see most of the times except this one the price did not bounce easily down which was which means a strong a bullish pressure which means the buyers have pushed the price easily so the sellers was not very strong here even though this price this area here did not act as a strong resistance but in the future the price has been respected correctly so usually this is some of uh, some of the trading ideas i could use and that is when the price reaches this price level it will bounce back down so i could open a sell order from here and targeting a support uh, a target right here for example where usually the price is reached when the price is bouncing back down i hope this was clear enough what are the support and the resistance levels you put them usually where the price reverses from this area checking in the past going and back testing in the history where the price respected the price level uh, most of the time and then you put horizontal level if you would like you can also use a red line with a different thick thickness where you start from the monthly weekly and daily and then you go to the four hour time frame for example here on the gold i have also on the four hour time frame this uh, line which is uh, consists of the smaller lines then i have also one minute time frame uh, sorry one hour time frame where i have a dotted line here which represents horizontal support and the risk levels on a one minute time frame now you can see how this also looks i have this uh one hour a resistance level and support level where the price respect here is a resistance here is a resistance then act here as a support after and has after it has been broken to the upper side then in this case it was not respected here it was currently respected as a smaller resistance level then i am expecting when the price reaches this price level returns back down just confirming as a support level so these are the levels how i am them using in my analysis and also basing the trading trading analysis on these support and the resistance levels which are a very important levels on the chart for every trader if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment i will try to answer as soon as possible if you like the video click the like button and subscribe and share with other traders see you next time and happy trading